on? Welcome back to uh, Side by Side Schuster's channel. And uh, this is my dirty garage. And I wanted to do an install for you guys today. We're gonna put on the uh, Kemi Moto door bags. Um, if you guys have a Pro XP, you probably know by now that uh, putting stuff inside the center court, the center storage compartment back here is kind of like using an easy bake oven. Uh, you put a hot pocket in there, it'll be done after about 35 minutes. Um, and you can heat up your pizza. Not good for storage stuff that you want to keep cool. You need a cooler for that. And then if you put your wallet or stuff in there, it gets pretty hot. Put a phone in there, it gets hot. So I thought about that and I want to get these door bags, try that out. I mean, I live down in Florida and it's all hot. I mean, I'm wearing freaking tank top and you know, sandals right now, it's like, 100 degrees outside uh you, can, you can't even walk on like the asphalt but, but i'm gonna put these bags on for you guys it's pretty easy to install these all you do is um you just line up the bolt holes and basically throw them on according to what bolt holes line up it's pretty simple uh i'm gonna give it a go and and uh try it out it goes, goes just like that. So, should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm interested to see like how much stuff I can put in here. Uh, it's got a knee pad right here too. So whenever you have your knee up, it doesn't hit the door. It has this nice pad. Um, should be pretty cool. I'm gonna have a link under the video to these. They're on Amazon. I don't know, I don't know how much they are. I think they're like 150 bucks. Um, definitely buy those up. Uh, you know, they're definitely worth it. I mean, anyone who has one of these, I mean, you could put, where's the belt? I think you can put a whole belt in here. Hold on, I'll show you. So here's the belt. Here's the storage bag. Oh, it'll fit. I might have to take this pad off. I've never tried this before. So, don't try this um, <laughs> Oh, there you go. Don't buy a $150 belt holder if this storage bag will do it. So I'm gonna put, from now on, I'm gonna carry around a belt in my storage bag on my passenger side. Just found that out right now, live while you guys are watching. So, uh, yeah, this thing's worth weight and gold already. All right, we're gonna get to the install video. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe, I need a thousand subscribers and somebody is getting uh, a free set of tender springs. Get that. guys on my razor we're sitting on 32s now 
got two inches more. I'm at, with the tender springs and 32s, I'm at about 19 inches of ground clearance in the back. I know, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna go take it for a ride and I think I'm gonna kick it down a little bit to like 16, just so I'm not sitting up so high. Um, you know, even with, the last time I measured it was like 18, 18 and a half, 19 inches and uh, it's kind of tall for a 64. Uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to get a 72 kit for this thing. And uh, you know, 19 inches of ground clearance would be sweet on you know, 72 inches wide. But we'll see what happens. On the bottom of this thing, there's a sticker. I peel the sticker off, and I'm just gonna set that in place. It, it actually fits really nice. And this is the last bolt. Mm. Now you just gotta tighten them all up. It's ready to go. But hope everybody's doing okay, you know, through uh, all this crazy times in the nation and uh, everybody's getting out there and going riding because that's what it's all about, just forgetting about all the, you know, bull, all the bull crap and uh, getting out on your razor and just ripping up some dirt and, you know, just forgetting about all the problems in the world. So I hope everybody's been able to do plenty of that and not as much politics and everything else and uh, you know just keep your head right all right guys um, I got these door bags on I got them tightened down the whole way I mean honestly I'm pretty impressed it doesn't like stick out very far I like it um, yeah this is a good spot for like your wallet your phone and stuff like that um, you know you could even put your phone in the uh, in here if you want, um, you know, the waterproof case, I don't know. I took the, uh, I took the belt and I put it in that door and I'm leaving it in there. And now I'm always gonna have a belt on me. Before I never used to carry it. I got like 1500 miles on this thing on one belt. Um, you know, it just benefits me to carry that around. Um, you know, like, honestly, I got this socket set off Amazon the other day. I mean, you don't, we all know we don't need all these sockets, but if I want to take this with me, it fits. Let's see. I mean, if I want to take, you know, a bunch of wrenches with me, it's fine. You put a ton of stuff in here, man. Ton of stuff. Let's see what else. I mean, all I, I don't really carry that much stuff. I got a little bag in the back. Um, I might be taking some of that stuff out of there, so I don't have to carry the bag around anymore. I'm putting it inside the razor. Um, you know, but like I said, these these Kimimoto bags are, you know, they're pretty awesome. You put a ton of stuff in there, and uh, for the price, man, I mean, once I, I, literally on the spot, I just realized that, you know, that belt's gonna fit in there. You know, there's no sense in buying a belt carrier and one of those, and like, and this, or and the storage bags, you don't need it. Just buy the storage bags, put the belt in the belt, in, in the passenger one, you're never gonna notice it. I don't know, I don't ride around passengers all the time, so it's not gonna be a big deal. And if it is, it doesn't stick out that far. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of the uh whenever i was installing it um so on this one i started back here and i went this screw this screw was easy and then this one right here was a pretty hard screw to put in uh pretty hard bolt to put in um you know you really got to put a lot of pressure on this one to put it in this one goes in pretty easy and this one i did last goes in pretty easy and there's a strip with Velcro that keeps this one in. Um, I really like the design. I mean, even with all this stuff in here, it doesn't really stick out that far. Um, you know, pretty nice. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. 
you know, I'm pretty happy. I can carry more tools, stuff like that. Um, not a big deal where you're sitting in it. Uh, I took the pads out. Uh, I'd rather have the added storage than just carry the pads around. I'll show you this one on this side. Check out those 32s and massive. Yeah, I took the pad out. I got the belt in here. Um, keep that shut. Um, I'm, overall, I'd say the the fit and finish on these, I'd give them a uh, you know, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Um, they just look great. And, uh, yeah, she's ready to go. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go ride. It's like, it's like a thousand degrees. I'm, I'm seriously just like sweating. Thank you guys so much for watching my, uh, Kemi Moto uh, install video. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, these bags are really awesome. Um, I'm gonna see how they do getting a bunch of mud on them and stuff. That's kind of what I'm curious about. But you know, like, you, got, like I, you can see here, I mean, I just put a ton of stuff in there. The bag doesn't sag or anything. It sits up really nice. You can barely even tell there's anything in there. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start putting some of my stuff in the back in there. And uh, I like it. Go ahead and uh, there's a link at the bottom to buy them. Go ahead and click that link, buy them up. Really awesome bag, man.